Um, a non-bleaching um, question. Can you still use um, sodium perborate in the UK? Uh, no, <laughs> basically as far as I'm aware. Um, so if it's non-vital bleaching, the main thing to do is obviously take out the excess cavity, take the GP down to gum level, seal over with something like uh, the self-adhesive resin, resin modified glass ionomer, and then do in-out bleaching. So leave the back of the tooth open and the patient wears a tray and they put the tray in, but there's a hole in the back of the tooth and if they load the tray up, it bleaches from the front and it bleaches from the back. The only thing you have to instruct them on is they have to get a toothbrush and be able to clear basically the rubbish out of the tooth. And they can't bite anything brittle on the tooth in case they break the tooth. And in my experience, certainly, um, you know, I used to seal in high strength um, hydrogen peroxide, or oh, crikey, um, 20, 30, even greater percent. But what I am finding now, if I'm doing it with, um, you know, 16% hydrogen peroxide, uh, carbamide peroxide, 7% or 6% hydrogen, then I'm getting pretty good results with it. The patient started on a Monday, they put the trays in, and then basically get them back on a Friday and see how it's doing. If it's looking good, seal the excess cavity up. Um, but seal it up with a slightly yellow shade of composite or something, so that if you need to drill it back out, you can distinguish it from the tooth. So either use a very white shade or a yellow shade.